Show me, do you fear God? Homie, I don't even hear y'all. On my shoulder, I don't hear nah. No, the right path left, I fear off. Oh, fear nah, nah, nigga, fear nah. So, what is up, you guys? Something new, something different, something. I'm introducing to the channel that's supposed to been have introduced a long time ago, but I just never got around to it. Movie reviews. As you can see, I'm wearing the flash gear because I just went to see Justice League and I was very apprehensive because I did not like Batman vs Superman. I loved Wonder Woman. I loved Wonder Woman. Did not like Batman vs Superman. It's not the people. I like the actors playing the people. Like all the actors, I blame people behind the scenes, namely WB. But we're not here for that. We're going to start off with a non-spoiler for however long, and I'll tell you. Uh, non-spoiler re review beginning now, it was, it was pretty good. It wasn't bad. It was definitely not Batman versus Superman. They handled the story a lot better. It was a lot more cohesive. The actors and characters work really well, well together. Uh, the they edited the Fark Negrock Laka doo doo out of this movie. You can see there's hella hella cuts. It's under two hours, which is surprising for a Justice League movie. For them to just be meeting and have to fight someone, and them to be bringing the man back, as everyone knows. And yeah. Yeah, yeah, man. It's just, it's a lot, you know? It was, it was, it was short, and there's a lot of cuts, but it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. It was enjoyable. Could have been better, but it wasn't bad. It was enjoyable. It was, it was definitely a very good display of each character's abilities and powers. They had a lot of dope scenes for that. Uh, Wonder Woman did her thing, Gal Gadot. Ezra Miller was cool as Barry. They did some justice by Cyborg. I like that. Uh, Aquaman was cool. Yeah, he was kind of a loner type. And yeah, Batman was doing his thing as Batman. And uh, the villain was eh. It was kind of a big CGI guy, just like Batman versus Superman. He was kind of there just to bring the Justice League together. But if you know comic books, you know he's not the ending. So it's whatever, whatever. Spoiler review, beginning now. In five, four, three, two, one. Leave if you don't want to know spoilers. Every Wonder Woman and Flash scene in this movie, all her fight scene when she say stopped the uh, robbers, not the robbers, the t re retaliation terrorist or whatever. Them, that scene when they showed her speed, amazing, hella dope. The scene, now, I don't like how they was kind of playing my boy Barry out. Like he, like I get he's a new Flash, but he just kept tripping and like falling over shit. Like, it, but all his scenes where he was running around doing stuff was pretty cool. I wish they would kind of slowed it down so you could see a little bit more of him like trying to fight, even though he said in the movie he's not a fighter. But there's a couple scenes where they show you like trying to, where he, you they show him like zip and hit people, dope the superman versus bat versus flash race thing thank you amazing i love whoever said to put that in there i feel like it was like joss whedon was like came in was like at that in there at that in there but it's probably not um i'm not wearing different clothes you have different eyes no i had to uh a friend had an emergency with some moving stuff i had to leave go help them so this is the next day but uh <clears throat> um to finish the review i ended up talking about the flash versus superman race that was dope um i think i said wonder woman's action scene in the beginning was dope flash scenes were dope i think i said that they did well with cyborg i liked cyborg i liked his uh abilities the way they had him constantly updating the way they said like it was the the every day he could do something new he couldn't do before because the code was just updating itself uh which is what i think a human mind would do if it was perfectly integrated with the computer somehow um I, and now 
and I did like how they also, if you know, I don't know if this is just for injustice, but I think it's a comic book thing too, where mainframe slash it, I, there's variations of it, but there's like a virus within cyborg where it's really like another entity. It's the computer that's in his body, like has its own mind and it can take over sometimes or it tries to, they kind of had hints of that with like the armor had its own default. His body had its own defense system. So there's a, my favorite scene in the movie when Superman first wakes back up, uh, and they're all coming after him. And it's funny. They did a point to show that he is the strongest that like, even though Aquaman could kind of make him feel a little something, it wasn't enough to do anything. And he was still like, what? Like, y'all not y'all flies y'all flies which i loved i love i did love i love when they act because i don't like superman as a comic book character but i like him more in the animated series and movies and things because in the comic books the writers go way too far with superman so i just i don't i don't mess with comic book superman too much but in the movie he was dope and that scene was really cool and even though they did write by my favorite superhero which is the flash and you notice clark never touched him like the one time he touched him was because barry on some were stupid stuff slipped and fell and clark like bucked his chest out or something like that and from there he then like for like just started tossing people but that scene was so dope where it's like they all getting they're all getting whooped and flash takes off and goes into the speed force and he's moving and like you slowly see like superman come out of their speed level into his speed level and like turn and be like i can see you like and the look on flash's face like is like Yo, this m bitch is moving as fast as me. <laughs> he got scared. So good. It was so good. I, I really, really love that scene. Like, that scene is so good. And But, like I said, he still never laid hands on him, though. If Barry was up on his powers, Clark wouldn't have been able to touch him. Like, they make a point. That, now, I will say that. Even though they made a point to be like... Superman is almost as fast as Flash. This is a Flash who's like blatantly not good with his powers yet. Like they even in the movie they talk about how he trips over his old own feet and stuff. Like um there's a lot of good cameos and uh no 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 Perry. I don't think I don't think I saw Perry in this. I don't remember. But uh a lot of shout outs they uh we got a we got a, a glimpse of what the lanterns might look like. Well, not what they'll look like, but the rings might look like. There was a lantern in this somewhere. I ain't gonna say where. If you didn't notice, go see it again. Um, they got some nice little villain shouts out. Shout outs. I know Penguin says something about. Uh, I mean Penguin. Batman says something about Penguin. Uh, Flash made a mention about being uh, fluent in gorilla sign language. Um, I'm trying to think of something. Else. Yo, one last side note before I end this review. You know, you know how many times Batman got punched by somebody superhuman in this movie? Like, like there's the part where he like talks shit about Steve Trevor Loki, and and Wonder Woman punches him and knocks him back into the thing and then there's the one where they all when clark first wakes up and he's like you i remember you and he like legit just straight punches him into a police car yo why, why, why batman should have something broken more than more than just dislocated something should have been broken <laughs> but all in all i liked I liked it a lot more than I thought I would. I did not think I was gonna like Justice League. Like I fully expected not to like the movie, to like the actors, but not the movie. Cause I've never had a problem with any of these actors. All the actors, even JK, I, even JK Simmons as uh, my dude, 
Commissioner Gordon. He did his thing, even though I still want him to come back and play J. Jonah Jameson in Spider-Man 2. But all the acting on point, I knew that I was going to be on point. I wasn't worried about the acting. Uh, the end credits, there is end credits. You know, they're like, they want to be about like, like Marvel. It's the best way to do it. It's whatever. Just because Marvel was one of the first people to do it, it's whatever. Like, oh, well. It's it's a thing now. Because not even just Marvel do, do it. And Marvel wasn't the first, first people to do it. They just were the ones to popularize it more so. Um, yo. Joe Manganiello is looking so clean as Deathstroke. Like, so clean. That armor? That armor? Yeah, but, Injustice League, Legion of Doom, whatever they decide to call it, I'm here for it. We already got the villains in the other ones. I hopefully they do the thing where they all where, where they try to get Joker and he become too much of a wild card and then they kick him out halfway through because they're like, yeah, you be doing too much, my nigga. Like, hopefully, hopefully they do that. But I'm I'm definitely here for it. Like, yeah, I'm ready. Um, hopefully Enchantress is not one of the members kind of don't want her i would kind of prefer somebody a, a different mystic person um I'm trying to think mm. Mm. i'm sure there's somebody else but yeah injustice league ooh, ooh. Ooh. cheetah that's who they need to bring up for one on cheetah Oh, Cheetah would be a beast. Uh, Grodd, obviously, for Flash, because Reverse Flash is going to be Flash's movie villain. Um, Aquaman. Oh, Black Manta, obviously. Uh, ooh, who they going to get to play Black Manta? Then they got to bring in Green Lantern. Man, let me get out of here. I've, this video turned into whole 10, 12, 13 minutes. Uh, that was the Justice League review. I liked it better than Batman versus Superman. I say I liked it. No, I liked Wonder Woman a little more. I don't. I, I didn't like it as much as Wonder Woman, but I think that's also because Wonder Woman was coming off the back of me being very, very upset with Batman versus Superman and kind of meh about Suicide Squad. And before then, Man of Steel was my favorite movie in the universe. So it goes Wonder Woman. Justice League Man of Steel right now for me. And that's that. So like, share, subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. And I'll see you in the Green Arrow video that is super duper late. Okay. Okay. Walking Dead is coming too. Okay. Okay. Goodbye.